Now let's take a look at wall resize. It's a pretty simple feature. If I right click on my wall, choose wall number one, and resize, you notice nothing is happening but my mouse is across there. The reasons nothing is happening is Pro Kitchen needs to know which end of that wall to begin resizing on. So just bring your mouse crosshair over here, and I just click on the end of the wall, kind of right in the middle, right between the two dots, to select that end, and now I can drag it in and out. Um, you'll notice over here that my length changes as I move it, so I can simply type in the length I want, hit enter, and there we go. Now I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And let's try to resize this guy here in the middle, because these can be a little more tricky. I'm going to click on resize, and again you'll notice nothing's happening here. So simply have to select which end, and I can drag it out and about. But again, remember when you click on that resize, that you have to select which end you want to resize from, or Pro Kitchen doesn't know how to how to resize that wall. So that makes it quick and easy. Doesn't leave anything up to chance because uh, if if it did and, and and it didn't ask you to select which wall or which end of the wall to move, it would always move the wrong end. I can promise you that. So so it's a quick, handy little feature. Keeps you from having to delete and rebuild wall sections. You can simply resize them to meet your needs.